In this video, I want to show you how we can boost the effectiveness of your PRP treatments to really supercharge your hair growth. And if you stick around to the end, I'll outline the exact protocol for doing so. So one of the most common treatments that clinics will offer for trying to improve hair quality and hair growth is PRP treatments. And we know that it sits under the regenerative category. And we've talked about PRP in the past, but just a quick recap. PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma. Essentially, what we're doing is collecting blood from you and then preparing it in a certain way. It's processed in a centrifuge and we basically collect the growth factors from this and we inject those growth factors back into the scalp. Now, the growth factors in PRP, they sort of act synergistically, sort of to promote hair growth through a variety of different pathways. And the first one is something called angiogenesis. That's a big word, and I don't need you to remember it. But basically, it's a way to improve the blood supply to the scalp. And in doing so, you're also going to bring more of those really good growth factors floating around the bloodstream to the scalp. Next up, PRP also improves collagen synthesis, and this really helps maintain skin structure and strength. And that leads to improved uh, hair follicle health, and it also reduces inflammation in the scalp, which also enhances growth. Now, PRP doesn't always work great in everyone but it is a sort of natural uh, treatment as you're using your own blood and hence your own growth factors. And there are certain scenarios where it does have uh, more of an effect, such as if you're younger, those patients generally respond better. If you're, if you're doing the treatment when you're in the earlier stages of hair loss, we've also found that to be uh, more beneficial. Um, if you're in good health, that obviously uh, is a, a bonus because it means you have good, better quality growth factors floating around in, in the bloodstream as well. And we know that non-smokers also do better. Um, it does seem to work better on non-scarring forms of alopecia, so things like male or female pattern hair loss. Uh, but one of the things that we always say is the bit that you cannot control is the concentration of growth factors in your own blood. But obviously, the greater the concentration, the better. Um, it will uh, obviously work better if you are consistent with uh, an adherence to the protocol, right? And that is generally doing it on a monthly basis. Um, so what we want to do is talk about how it, we can boost it by using other treatments, right? Because we know that if we use PRP, we can use it in combination with another form of treatment such as low-level laser therapy. Now, low-level laser therapy has been around for a while, and we know that it works really well, and it's got good data to support it. And uh, there was a study done back in 2013 by Quant uh, and his team that demonstrated that low-level laser therapy can increase hair density and growth. So how does it work? Well, basically it does something called promoting antigen reentry from telogen. And that basically means that it promotes the hair uh, cycle and promotes hair growth. It also increases blood flow. And as a consequence of that, it increases the nutrient and oxygen delivery to both the scalp and the, and the hair follicles. And it also reduces scalp inflammation, which is really important. Um, so we know how PRP works, and we know that laser works as well, but what happens when we combine the two? Well, it seems that the data shows that we can really supercharge the effects. So back in 2021, Huang and his team uh, did a randomized clinical trial and found that patients receiving both low-level laser and PRP reported a greater density and imp improvement compared to those just receiving PRP on its own. Another study in 2019 by Garcia indicated that patients experienced faster results when they were combining the two modalities. And, and statistics from a study in 2016 by Sadie showed that up to 80% of patients noted improvement in hair growth when using combined therapies. So it seems to have a positive effect. So how does it work? Well, it seems that low-level laser enhances the effectiveness of PRP by increasing blood flow and therefore the response of the follicles. 
And it seems that combining both these treatments can potentially yield better results than just the individual therapies on its own. So how is it done? Well, it really must be administered using different protocols. PRP is generally administered once a month for about five or six months with top-ups after that. And we recommend uh, additionally using low-level laser treatments once or twice a week for between 15 to 20 minutes between these PRP sessions. And if you look at the data, that seems to be the most effective way to administer this treatment. So if you're looking for a non-pharmaceutical way of managing your hair loss, it might be worthwhile considering not just one, but combining uh, these treatment options, right? PRP and low-level laser, really to help boost their effectiveness and help boost hair growth. I hope you found this useful. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next episode.